Hey everyone, this is Ken and this is the story of how I started Deluxe. Deluxe is a watch strap and accessories company based in Singapore. You may know us for our handcrafted leather straps, our cut to size rubber straps, or maybe you've seen some of our content over on Instagram. My team and I are doing a lot of exciting things and I decided to start this YouTube channel to share some of that with you guys. Back in 2016, I picked up leather crafting as a hobby. And like most hobbies that I got into, I was pretty obsessed. I was buying a lot of tools and leather. I was spending a lot of time on YouTube and Reddit, and I learned leather crafting over the course of a few months. I remember visiting the Hallwin Tannery in Chicago, the smell of leather at that place, and picking up a few pieces of Shell Cordovan leather that they were famous for. I was crafting key fobs, card holders, wallets, bags, and of course, watch straps. At around the same time, I got interested into watches. Like most guys, you know, I was finding ways to dress up and accessorize, and watches was one of the key ways. I picked up my first mechanical timepiece, the Seiko Presage Starlight um, 085 that I have on my wrist right now. I love a good dial, and if you look at this watch carefully, you'll see the deep blue hue and the ice shard dial pattern that really hooked me in. In 2017, I got deeper into both of my hobbies of leather crafting and watch collecting. I was crafting with a lot of different types of leather, Chevre, Butero, Safiano, and I was taking on commission projects. I would meet up with my customers and I noticed that many collectors were pairing their expensive watches with really not so good quality straps. You know, they were used to the idea that straps had to be stiff, um, that it would crack and peel after just months of use, and that that was the norm. I thought to myself, there must be a better way to do this. There must be an alternative that I could provide. And the idea was to train up a team of leather crafters, offer handcrafted leather straps using high quality leather made in batches uh, across a range of sizes and to offer these straps at a lower price point. I started searching for supplier and in September 2018, I got our very first batch of straps in uh, made of Shell Cordovan leather. Shell Cordovan is used in high-end men's uh, shoes and boots and also used by Nomos for their watch straps. Over the course of two months, I spent time setting up a website, taking photos and putting the straps up for sale. And in November 2018, I remember making our very first sale. There was a sense of accomplishment like, hey, you know, we actually did something and made something good enough that people would want to go out and purchase it. But to be honest, I wasn't too satisfied with that batch of straps. The leather quality was good, Shell Cordovan was a well-known leather, but the construction just wasn't ideal. So I spent the early part of 2019 finding the right crafting partner that was aligned to the vision of what I wanted to accomplish. We spent a few months of back and forth fine-tuning the specs of the strap. Things like the leather thickness, the keeper width, the stitching fineness, and even the position of the strap holes. I wanted these straps to be perfect, both as a leather crafter making them and as a watch collector who would use these straps myself. We started selling our handcrafted leather straps and after a few months, sales picked up as word of mouth spread and people realized the quality and price point that we were offering relative to what's on the market back then. At this point around mid-2019, everything was still run from my bedroom. It was the scrappy early days of the business. I was figuring out how to take stock photos for the website. I was fulfilling orders from my bed. I remember handwriting out the addresses on the customs form and walking to the post office to mail these packages out. At the end of 2019, we saw good sales during Black Friday, which was very reassuring. And in the first few months of 2020, we expanded the range of offerings that we had. We were one of the first few places to offer ready stock straps in a wide range of sizes, including odd luck widths um, such as 19mm and 21mm. We were also bringing in a wide variety of leather that most people had not even seen or heard of before, such as this Babelli leather from an Italian tannery that has a very unique cloth-like texture to it. I also started to become more active on Instagram. I was interacting with the community, posting more frequently, showing behind the scenes on my Instagram stories, and over time, I started to build up a following. And then, of course, COVID hit. Like most people, you know, there was a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety and uncertainty. I was solving problems on a daily basis. But at the same time, uh, because everyone was at home, everyone was on Instagram, shopping online, and we had a lot of straps in stock ready to be sent out. We were in a good position to actually take advantage of the boom in e-commerce that followed. As the brand started to grow, it gave me the drive and confidence to do more. I brought in more one-off exotic leather such as ostrich, alligator, python that had really unique texture, unique colors and finishing. I invested a lot into our website, launching things like the Strap Finder, which was a way for people to visualize how different watches would look on different straps and really elevate the e-commerce shopping experience. 
I expanded the product line into watch cases, making small but notable improvements, um, such as having compressible pillows that would fit smaller wrists. All these efforts really paid off and Deluxe continued to grow in 2020 um, despite the challenges from COVID. At this time, I also started to get really deep into watches. I enjoyed the process of searching, collecting and owning watches and I was fascinated by the watch industry. I was getting watches from mainstream brands like Cartier, Omega, Grand Seiko and one of my favourite pieces is actually this Grand Seiko Whirlpool, the SBGH267. I was also looking into micro and independent brands like Ming and FP Jean, and I remember searching and hunting for this Ming 1706 slate and basically begging people who own this watch um, if they would let go of their pieces. As a watch collector myself and interacting with many other watch collectors, I started to better understand what people were looking for in terms of straps and accessories. And that led to us releasing straps that were made specifically for watches like the VC Overseas and the Cartier Centos. The response from the community was overwhelmingly positive. People were really excited to finally have aftermarket options. This gave me a lot of personal satisfaction in being able to develop products that people were willing to buy and use and were really happy for. By the end of 2021, uh, it was clear that we had outgrown my bedroom uh, and we needed to bring more people on to keep up with the growth that we were seeing. So in 2022, we signed a lease and moved into our current all-in-one space. It is our office and retail area. Uh, it's a place for us to work at, but also a place for customers to come by and check out our products. We expanded the team, establishing best practices to ensure that we could keep up with the service standards that you guys have come to expect, uh, even as we continue to grow. Late last year, we launched our rubber strap collection with the Tissot PRX. It was the first of its kind, and once again, the response from the community was incredible. Today, Deluxe has thousands of customers all around the world. Our straps can be found on watches ranging from the affordable to the premium, from the mass market to the ultra niche and limited. Our most popular product continues to be our handcrafted leather straps, but we are quickly expanding in our rubber straps in the CTS style. We are based here in Singapore, and we have a really passionate team that fulfills your orders, responds to your queries, takes the photos and videos that you see on our website, develops and tests new products, and looks for opportunities for us to expand into new markets. These past few years have been incredible and I feel really fortunate to be able to do something that I'm passionate about on a daily basis. Designing and crafting, photography and marketing, working with a small team of passionate individuals, growing a global brand from here in Singapore and of course just being surrounded by watches all day. Through Deluxe, I also get the chance to meet and speak to many of you either online, on Instagram or in person over here at our store. I've also made many new friends in the process and these are all things that I truly enjoy. Not many people get to make their hobby their full-time job, but thanks to your support, it's a reality for me and the rest of my team. The past five years has been incredible, but at the same time, I know that we are just getting started. We have a lot of things planned for the next few years. More products, more content, more collaboration with watch brands, and having physical presence in more cities. Most importantly, we'll continue to listen to you, the watch community, to guide the things that we do. It's how we've grown as a brand and it's basically part of our DNA by now. And now about this YouTube channel. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure how it'll go. Uh, we'll make more videos about straps and watches. We might bring on people to come in and have a chat with us. We might show some behind the scenes about what it takes to run a watch accessories company. But really at the end of the day, it's just about you know, having fun, uh, making videos that you want us to make. So if you have any suggestions or things that you would like to see, make sure to leave a comment below and let us know about it. So there you have it. That's the first few chapters of the Deluxe story. If you are thinking about starting your own business or you want to work in your passion, I hope that my story inspires you to go out there and just give it a try. We'll end this off with a montage of videos and photos uh, from the early days. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe and stay strapped for more.